I forgot my flipping daisy chains, guys. All right, guys, my name is Josh. You're watching the channel Hidden Hammock. And right now, we're about to get elevated. I'm taking part in the Stealth Camping Alliance Get Elevated Challenge set by Grave Digger. And uh, right now, we're sneaking through a work site towards our target location. All right guys, we're just sneaking past this new hardware store. This is gonna be a hardware store in the future, but we're just accessing this work site to get to our target location. So right now, we're amongst a coconut farm in a small village in the Philippines in a place called Santo Thomas. And yeah, we gotta get going, let's go. We're gonna make our way down this road here and over the back here I found this building that is currently being constructed and I reckon tonight that's us I'm not allowed to be here guys we're definitely sneaking in so once we get past this construction site we're gonna have to be on the lookout for people once we get up into the building I'm pretty sure I'll be covered and yeah we'll find us somewhere to hang our hammock check this out guys right here these are pineapples growing on the ground and amongst this beautiful coconut grove and we are heading that way let's do this so yeah guys to be honest trying to find a stealth camping location in the Philippines is so damn hard yo it's so damn hard because it's just people living everywhere the level of poverty is quite high here in the Philippines. I mean, food is cheaper in Indonesia, food is cheaper in Malaysia, and it's more, the cost of living is a little bit higher here in the Philippines. And I believe that's the reason why people are struggling here in the Philippines, living in poverty, living, living in slums, is because the cost of living is a lot more than the other countries that I have visited. Look at this, beautiful pineapple. Look at that. That's us. Let's go. Look at this. Look at this beautiful place. Look at the blue sky, the coconuts, the pineapples. And that's us tonight. Let's get elevated. Elevated challenge set by Grave Digger for the Stealth Campaign Worldwide Alliance. Let's do this. All right, guys. So, we got us some water tanks. I did check that out about camping up there, but there's no nowhere to camp. So, this is going to be us tonight in this building that's under construction right now. I've got about one hour of sunlight left. So we've got good time. We're just gonna do a little bit of exploring. Let's check this out. Hopefully we don't be seen. I look, there's definitely workmen here. Look. I'm definitely gonna have to be out in the middle of the morning. Get elevated with Grave Digger. Check this out, Grave Digger. Look at this. Look at this. Is this elevated enough? This is all I could find in the Philippines. I actually come across a water tower 
but I didn't even have my hammock with me at the time. So yeah, I could have camped on a water tower, but this is gonna have to do. Look at this beautiful coconut plantation, coconut grove, farm, whatever you want to call it. Absolutely stunning. And look, this is someone's home that they're building. But yeah, we're gonna stuff in here tonight. And we definitely don't wanna get caught. Otherwise, we're gonna have to pay some money, I reckon, <laughs> to get out of trouble. Look at this. Check this out. It's downstairs, look. Oh, down there. I don't know how long they've been constructing this. Looks a little bit green here. So yeah, I don't know how actively they are constructing this building, but it's here. I found it. It's up high. It's the best I can do. You're watching the channel Hidden Hammock. If you like these types of videos, if you like international style camping, hit the subscribe, hit the like, help the brother from New Zealand out. Help the brother out. Hit subscribe. Cause this is us tonight. Style camping up here. Somewhere. And, uh, where are we going to camp? I don't know how safe this is. I was thinking. Okay. Look at this place. So long as no one doesn't see us from over there, or there's another building there, I was thinking. Maybe we hang the hammock from there to there. Is that us? Is this what's going down? Hidden hammock, elevated challenge, stuff camping lines, right here from the spot, see the spot right here, from here to here. All right, let's do this. We got one hour. I'm gonna unpack my bag, unpack the hammock. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain. We did, it's rained twice today though, and we did have uh, a typhoon come through last night. It's a little bit windy, but uh, I'm pretty sure we might get away with no tarp tonight. If not, I do have the tarp. I'll just whip the tarp over the top of these wooden supports, these braces, and we can make a tarp look. I can hook onto there, hook onto there. So yeah, I'm pretty confident. We should be able to stay dry tonight. I'm pretty confident we should be able to stay away from snakes. Alright guys, just got my day bag. I got two coconuts. Look at this. We got some coconuts. I also got my favorite chips. These are Chika Charon Nai Mang Huan. Classic Chika Chik Chik Charon salted no pork flavored. Got my bungees. Bungee! Got us one bottle of Mountain Dew. Got us one top, one DD hammock, three by three meter multi camouflage top. And you wouldn't be watching Hidden Hammock if I weren't camping in my hammock. So yeah, I got the hammock tonight. This is a DD hammock nest. And I got some extra power. So yeah, that's us guys. Let's set this up. Guys, I forgot my flipping daisy chains. Oh, I forgot my flipping daisy chains. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to try hang my hammock without daisy chains. Can't believe this. I forgot my flipping daisy chains, guys. All right, I'm gonna have to think about this. Maybe I have to bail, or maybe I just have to try without daisy chains. Let's have a go. All right, guys, seriously, not prepared for this without my daisy chains. But we're gonna have to make it work anyway, because this is the only chance I've got to do the elevated challenge. So, yeah, I'm just gonna hook one end of my hammock around and under there and clip it on. And then hopefully somewhere along here, hopefully past this nail, I can hang the hammock around here. But I didn't really want to hang off this. I really wanted to hang around this concrete pillar here and this concrete pillar here because it's pretty far down here. I don't want that 
I don't want to fall and that go through my back and I don't want this to snap and me hit the concrete so yeah just gonna have to try it out see if it holds me and yeah that's us I'm gonna then clip it around this one here because I want to stay away from the edge as much as possible. All right, guys, I just clipped it around there and it's kind of like stopping itself from sliding that way on the nail. And I just going around this brace. I didn't really want to hang off this. So I'm gonna jump up in the hammock now. If it can hold me, we were gonna stay here tonight without our daisy chains. All right guys, that's us. It's holding me. I'm gonna set this hammock up for night mode. Yeah guys, this is definitely not the hang I was dreaming of, but it will do, it'll work, and we're gonna have to make it happen. I was expecting to hang right in the center of hair to hair, but with no daisy chains, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to hang this ugly looking setup like this tonight. Damn! How does that look? Does that look beautiful? Just my stealthy little hammock or camouflage with the wood and the beautiful coconut grove in the background. Philippines, you are magic. I'm actually gonna raise uh, my ridge line for my spreader poles up a little bit higher, just so I got more room in the hammock. So give me one moment. All right guys, that's us. All set up for night mode and bam. That's what it looks like from here. I didn't dream of it being like this, guys. I really wanted it hanging in the center there, but this is just gonna have to do. I'm really sorry that I forgot my daisy chains, but we're gonna make it happen anyway. We're sleeping here tonight because we can't let Grave Digger down. I wanna send my mad apologies to you, Hammock Mountain, as I could not take part in the Halloween challenge, but I thoroughly enjoyed all the videos. And uh, mad respect to Steve the Chanter Camper again for winning four challenges. Can you count, suckers? Unflipping believable. Can you dig it? So, yeah, guys, that's us tonight. I think it's time to smash in to a coconut. Let's have our first Filipino coconut. Let's do this. Damn guys, that's us. She's a little bit fresh, but she'll do. Oh. Right now, I'm catching the essence of what it's like to stealth camp in the Philippines. No daisy chains. Two coconuts and in amongst the beautiful coconut grove. Can't believe this. This has been an unreal adventure. Thank you for everybody who supported me along the way. From New Zealand to Australia to Singapore to Indonesia to Malaysia and now the Philippines. Stealth camping. That's us right there. Drinking from there. Yeah. Coconut. All right, two more mouthfuls, guys. Let's see if we can break into some of this flesh. Uh, 
All right, guys, I sort of got inside, We've got some flesh here. Let's try some of this coconut. Mm. Delicious, silky, creamy, fresh coconut. Mm. That's us guys, we are in. Look at this man, absolutely stunning. Got the hammock, got the coconut. Look at this, fantastic. It's time to eat. Mm. Yeah, this is glorious. So while I'm eating this coconut and while I remember, I just want to give some mad respect to Camp Like a Boon. Thank you so much, brother. I keep forgetting to give you a shout out. So the coconut goes out to you, brother. Yeah. And that's us. The sun's going down in the west. And we got about half an hour late until we hit twilight. So you guys, I'm going to enjoy this coconut now and uh, think about my next move. Got to lay low. Keep it stealthy. Bam. That was so delicious. That was my first Filipino coconut and it was just great. And uh, now it's time to enjoy some Mountain Dew. Looks like someone else has enjoyed some Mountain Dew here too. And another bottle. So yeah, this Mountain Dew goes out to my boy Gravedigger. Cheers brother. Thanks for setting this challenge. So glad I could take part in this one because I couldn't take part in Halloween challenge. It was just wrong timing for me. So yeah, cheers. Get outdoors. Yeah. All right, that's us guys. I'm in the hammock and I'm gonna kick off my shoes for a second. And we are just gonna check it out. How it looks. That's what it looks like out our window. The sun's setting. And I'd say we've got about 10 or 15 minutes of light here. And that's what it looks like there. All right, guys, I'm just gonna relax now. We came, we snuck in, we got up the ladder. We discovered we had no bloody daisy chains. We got a hammock up anyway. We drank some coconut juice. We smashed back our first Filipino coconut and I've hung my bag up there. And now it's time for me to relax for five or 10 minutes as we wait for twilight and just enjoy the tropics and the atmosphere of the beautiful Philippines. Lots of crows around guys. Lots of crows circling. That's us. Guys, these crows are getting crazy. They're just circling and circling around me. Look at that. That is just epic, dude. And that's a plane. That little white thing. It's not a UAP, it's a plane. But yeah, check out all these crows. Isn't that just fantastic? Unreal. And there we are, guys. That's it. The sunset in the Philippines, accompanied by all these flipping crows. Look at them all. They haven't attacked me yet. They're just getting closer and closer and closer. That's insane. If I start getting attacked by crows, I'm gonna zip up the hammock. But look at that sunset. Isn't that just glorious? This is what it looks like from my hammock right now. Absolutely stunning.
can't really open chips like this in Asia. You always got to go, like, you always got to tear the bag open like this. And, yeah. So, yeah. That's what we're working with. They're like, they look like this. This crispy, wafery, chicken flavored snack and it's so delicious. They're so good. They're so good. If you're ever in the Philippines, I recommend you eat these. Mm. Yeah, that's totally my favorite snack here in the Philippines. I think that's my sixth or seventh packet that I brought. I can't remember how much they cost. I should check next time. But yeah, the Philippines is not as cheap as Malaysia or Indonesia, but it's so damn cool. I love the Philippines. I love their tricycles. I love their jeepneys. I love their culture. I love the way that it's a little bit dangerous here. I love the fact that like, yeah, Everyone just lives together. It's crazy, man. Uh, I love their like communities. They live in these small communities called Barangays. And yeah, man, the culture here is just amazing. I love you, Philippines. And I like to say thanks to all the people who have hosted me here. By the time you guys are watching this, I will probably already be in Thailand. Not much going on in here, guys. Hammock just flapping around. It's been so hot in the Philippines, like last week and the week before. Man, it was so hot. It was so hot, yo. Couldn't believe how hot it was. I'm just waiting for the sun to go down now, guys. Um, so we can enter the twilight zone. Destroyed. I tell you, man, they are so, so, so flipping delicious. These are just so addictive these snacks if you're in philippines try them man oh my god oh yeah time to get jacked up on mountain dew oh. what i'm bloody drinking mountain dew with zero sugar well that's not on can't really get jacked up on mountain dew zero <laughs> I hate fake uh, soft drinks with that zero sugar stuff. I, I just so dislike it. Man, I gotta look at the label next time. How deceiving is this bottle? I just thought it was OG Mountain Dew. I can't even get jacked up on this if it's got zero sugar. Ugh. Wow, guys. Look at the color and the silhouette of the palm trees. I'll never forget this, man. So beautiful. Thank you, Philippines. Thank you so much. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's us, guys. Nighttime is upon us. Ugh. I can hear dogs. I can hear birds. I can hear creatures. But I feel pretty safe being up in this half-constructed building and not in the jungle <laughs> I don't know about what predators are in the jungle in Philippines I know they do have snakes but I don't know what potential dangers they really have today I went and filmed around the barangay that I'm staying in uh, barangay San Francisco I don't know if that video will be up by the time I drop this I still have two videos from Manila to get up uh, one of me going to some wholesale markets and another of me entering Tondo which is like a slum district in Philippines and then yeah so I got lots of content from the Philippines coming uh, so go back and check out my videos I've definitely got a lot more Philippines content coming soon and like I said guys by the time you see this video I'll already be in Thailand after Thailand I'm getting pretty homesick now I've been traveling for seven months and I'm gonna go back 
to my country of New Zealand, which is flipping awesome. Like I said, guys, I'm homesick a little bit, but also at the same time, I might be a little bit depressed because I'm not traveling and having fun overseas. So I don't know how I'm going to feel yet about going back to New Zealand, but I'm just going to have to make the most of it. It's going to be summer there. We've managed to escape winter, yes. And that was the whole goal of traveling overseas was to escape winter. I started stealth camping two years ago and yeah, I started in winter. So bang, my first stealth camp was in the middle of winter and then I went through a summer to another winter to a summer and then I decided that it was time to escape New Zealand winter and that's when I traveled to Asia. So yeah, now that I've escaped winter from New Zealand, I am going to go home for summer. It'll be my third summer camping in New Zealand. Hopefully I can get creative and find some awesome locations for y'all to enjoy. All right, guys, before I hit the sack and go to sleep, I just want to mention one more thing. I'm part of a group. I'm part of a worldwide gang. We're called the Stealth Camping Alliance. Right now I'm taking part in Grave Digger, his Get Elevated Challenge. And uh, yeah, I just want to give some mad respect to all my sisters and brothers. If you don't know the Stealth Camping Alliance, check him out on YouTube. There's many of us Stealth Campers from around the world, from Australia to New Zealand to Philippines, <laughs> to America, UK, Canada, Belgium, Netherlands. Check out the brothers and sisters from around the world. There's some great channels. And uh, yeah, if you don't know the Stealth Camping Alliance, give them a subscribe, get to know them. That's it from me. I'm gonna go to sleep now. It's getting pretty late. What was that? Yeah, anyway, that's it from me, from the Philippines. I'm gonna get some kip. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gonna take off my hat now. Put my feet up, lean back, just enjoy my elevated hammock inside this half constructed, on top of this half constructed building in the middle of a coconut grove in the Philippines from the beautiful land of St. Thomas. It's about, I don't know, an hour or two hours south of Manila. But right now it's time for me to get some rest, go to sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. Peace. Good morning. All right, guys, it's quarter past 6 a.m. It was a pretty nice night last night. Let's have a look out here. Oh, it's overcast. Oh, we got cows. Oh no, I hope they're not killer cows. One, two, three, four. This could be interesting getting out of here. I didn't know there was cows here. They got horns too. It's 6.15 a.m. I gotta get out of here because I don't want to get caught in this building. And uh, I got one coconut left. We're gonna pack down, have a morning coconut. I don't know if I'm gonna eat it here or out on the street because I don't want to get busted here. But yeah, the hammock actually moved a little bit in the night. I think it got past the nail. I don't know, yeah, it got past the nail. So yeah, wasn't the best sleep or the best setup, but we were able to survive the night. It didn't rain, so I didn't have to whip up the tarp. And uh, yeah, this was my first time that I've ever woken up inside a coconut grove. So thank you very much, Philippines. Let's carry on with the adventure. Let's pack up, let's drink some coconut, and let's get out of here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I better not make fun of them, right? Because who knows if they're friendly or what in the Philippines. But yeah, this was our setup, guys. Check this out. I had no daisy chains last night, as you know. So I was meant to go around that and around that and hang nicely in the center with the beautiful coconut trees behind me. But we had to make do with what we got. And yeah, we were actually set it up past this nail, but look, it bent the nail and slipped in the night. So can I kind of 
bananaed out a little bit. But check this out. That was where we camped last night in this half constructed, what well, looks like a home. I'm guessing this is gonna be a home. So yeah, that was us. Let's walk around, show you a nice shot. Man. All right, guys, like I said, I really don't want to get caught here. So I'm going to pack this up and let's get out of here. There's our breakfast. Oh. Hidden hammock. Stuff camp in Philippines. And boom, just like that. We all packed up and it's looking good. These guys have migrated around to the side here. We're gonna escape down that ladder, out that way, back past the constructed hardware shop, out onto the main street and escape and call that a success. Yeah, you've been watching Hidden Hammock. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Time to roll. Let's do this. Hashtag Staff Camp Alliance. Hashtag Get Elevated. Guys, I think I actually pulled this off. Well, I'm not gonna get busted for camping, just maybe trespassing. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, whoops, fucking only fell. Alright, guys, there's some people to my left, but I think they're just working on constructing this building. I sneak past. That's us, yes. Alright, guys, we're gonna make our way down there to the end and onto the main street. And um, once we get on the street and we're all safe, we'll crack open a coconut and maybe we'll do a little walk and we'll end the video. Yeah. Alright, guys, that's us. We're free. But I gotta find somewhere to smash open this coconut. Maybe over here. I just smash it on this metal right here. Damn. Sass guys. <sighs> Absolutely delicious. What a way to start a day. Waking up, stuff camping in the Philippines with a fresh coconut. Everyone's off to school on their tricycles, starting work, doing the things that Filipino people would like to do in the morning. Ah. Good morning, Po. So yeah, how many countries is that, guys? We staff camp New Zealand, Australia, Indonesia, Malaysia, and now the Philippines, so one, two, three, four, five. Five countries we stuff camped in. Next week, when we head to Thailand, hopefully we can make it six countries. That's my goal. I couldn't stuff camp Singapore just because Singapore has really large fines and if you break laws in Singapore, they might not let you leave. <laughs> All right guys, that's it. I'm gonna end the video there. You've been watching the channel Hidden Hammock. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep following along on my adventures and I'll see you 
on the next episode of Headed Hammock. Peace.